I'm in sure again with another video to your done Noah. So you guys, uh, this is going to be my one year ownership of my uh, 2006 E53 X5. Um, I bought it last year around this time and I just want to say it's been nothing but reliable. These cars are very, extremely reliable. Why don't you take care of the cooling system? What's not reliable is the V8 versions in this car. <laughs> which I highly suggest you don't get um that's if you don't want reliability if you want power get the V8 but if you want reliability the 3.0 is where it's at but anyways you know I don't want to make this video bashing V8s and BMW even though they're highly and they have been proven to be extremely unreliable this is not going to be that video <laughs> but I just wanted to go over all the you know the cool things I've did on this car uh, starting off, I did do the rims. Um, if you look at my first video, which I'll link in this description, uh, when I first got this X5, it came with the stocks. Um, I really don't like the stocks on these cars. I mean, it doesn't really bring off the truck very well. I think with these rims, these rims come straight off of the E70 X5, which is pretty much the X5 um, after this one. Um, I really like how they look. Um, they're quite expensive to find and get, um, but they're definitely worth it for the look that you're going to get with this truck. Um, yeah, like I, like I said, this truck has been nothing but reliable. I am getting ready to sell it, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I'm still kind of debating on selling it, but right now I think my mind is going towards selling the truck. Um, but I kind of wanted to go over the truck, um, you know everything i did to it as well as the options that it has and um yeah well to start off it does come with the pretty rare option with the brown interior if you guys can see the exterior matches the interior pretty dope um yeah, i love the gauge cost i got the truck like that um i don't know if they're standard i don't think it's standard for these but yeah <laughs> it does come with the factory navigation system as well this is a pretty well optioned out truck as you can see by all the buttons <laughs> i do have heated seats and all types of other buttons that i don't even use um but yeah this truck it has the panoramic sunroof pretty highly optioned out truck to be honest um i saw when i first got it and i'm like wow it has this it has that <laughs> pretty interesting scenario um oh i love the back in here yeah this is wow uh, what i really liked about this is that it had the sun shades another option you don't really see on these very easy to use very easy to handle as you guys can see the quality of the leather even after in 2006 for this being a 2006 the leather is in really great condition It's really clean. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys around to the back here. The thing with this trunk is that it's a dual trunk, meaning that you can open it from the top here, and then you can press this button and have it come down. So it's like a two-step trunk. Trunk. <laughs> I don't know what's the proper term for it, but you guys get the point. Uh, you get a lot of room when you do put the trunk open and everything. Um, this is really nice. I can't tell you I use this much. <laughs> um, what's something that's really hidden and cool about this X5 is a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually move the back seats with this button, which is pretty cool. It comes pretty far up and it also goes down as well too. Um, it's separate from the other side as well. Look at this. Um, this one only controls the smaller one, as you guys can see. I thought that was pretty dope um another thing too is that um you do get to control it with these buttons here so it also moves as well uh pretty luxury for a 2006 one might say <laughs> um yeah these 
Yeah, this is just, you can see this is lifting a little bit, but it's an 06. You cannot expect perfection out of a used car. Um, but yeah, this is, oh man, these things, like, even look at the carpet. Oh yeah. I kept up with it, you know? Um, I didn't really have too much people inside of here. Um, it was pretty much, I was using this as a work truck in a way. I know it looks really clean to be a work truck, but this was my little work truck, truck so I can like haul different things here and there. Um, yeah, let me go and um, I'll show you guys the HUD and everything. And the HUD is the reliable M54 in line six. Oh man, these, these things are stupid reliable. As long as you use the cooling systems, you're good, you know? Um, the cooling systems is the weak point of this engine. Um, I recommend if you're trying to get anything that is an M54 engine, uh, get your cooling system done first as peace of mind. Um, don't go off of what somebody else is say or the previous owner. Just do it off of for your peace of mind since this is a very, 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 very problematic thing on these engines, the cooling systems. But, um, yeah, this truck has been nothing but reliable to me. I have no complaints and everything like that. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much my one-year ownership of the car. I don't really have too much to say because it didn't give me any problems. Matter of fact, um, to show you guys it didn't give me any problems, I have actually receipts of stuff I, I've done on the truck. Um, let me see real quick. These are my two receipts I have. These are the only... <laughs> maintenance items I have done on the car since I've had it for one year. Um, something had happened with my uh, fuel system. Um, you can pause the video and see what happened. Um, it just didn't want to start one time. That's the only time I ever, this truck ever like failed on me. Um, it cost me 470 to fix that. Um, and then I paid $94 for a battery and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, nothing else pretty much broke on this truck um, I pretty much spent under $600 just to maintain this truck um, I bet you guys are wondering how much miles is on the truck now because if you're if I'm saying I only spent under under $600 to maintain the truck for a year I'm pretty sure somebody's like hey you probably have low miles that's why and you would be right um, the truck only has a hundred and six thousand miles so 106,000 miles on the odometer um yeah it's pretty low miles like i said i can't really complain with this truck yo um if i do end up selling this truck i'm gonna be pretty sad because i know how reliable it is and you know how much stuff it's done uh with me in one year that i've had it but anyways, you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay positive, all right?